Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now, if you are a business or offer services in any way, then you are probably in need of a booking site. I mean, how else are people supposed to schedule appointments with you? Well, there's a number of booking sites out there. There's things like Calendly, Acuity, Square Appointments, etc. But did you know that last year, Google actually launched its own booking site in conjunction with Google Calendar? Like you can easily, if you have a Google Calendar already, you can easily set up a booking site directly for your business for free. Now there's some things of course that you have to pay for like being able to take payments directly through your booking site. But for the most part, all of the main functionality is completely free and you can easily and seamlessly set up a booking site in minutes. So I wanted to go through everything that you need to know from a beginner's guide and I'll give you a little bit at the end of just some other cool stuff that I can do. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's just go through what it looks like. So when you go to your calendar, you're gonna to go to create and then you're gonna to go to appointment schedule. You can go ahead and put in whatever title it is that you want to put in for your booking page. So I just said booking with Side Hustle Seattle, but you can say mentoring or hair braiding or whatever it is that people are looking for that they need to know what they're scheduling the service for. Now you can just go to appointment duration. So how long is the appointment gonna be? 15, 30, 45. You can also make it custom if you want to, if it's like a kind of odd time. And then just your general availability. So when are you available and what days? Right now it presets to kind of Monday through Friday, nine to five, but you can change it. So I can say, okay, I wanna be available from, you know, nine to noon and then build myself in a lunch break by clicking that plus. It'll create another line within the same day. Now, okay, one to two. Now, if you do a copy time to all, it'll create it on all of them. So you don't have to manually go through one by one and put the time in all the different slots. And you could just scroll down and check it. And then just a the scheduling window. So essentially it's going to say, you know, how soon in advance can somebody go ahead and make it? Are you available now, et cetera. So for example, you can say when you want the schedule to start or when you want the bookings to start. Do you want them to start immediately? Do you want them to start a month from now? Whatever that case may be, you can go ahead and just set that up. Or you can say available now and it'll start the bookings, you know, as soon as you make it live. Now, how far in advance can people book? Can they book a month in advance, two months in advance? It's something you want to kind of keep in mind what you have in the future, especially if you have like vacations or anything. And then how many hours or what's the um, minimum time before an appointment start that can be booked? So, for example, if it's 10 a.m. right now, you may not want an appointment starting 30 minutes later. You may not be ready. So you set it for two hours out at the minimum. So the soonest appointment would be noon. Now, just adjusted availability. So if you have specific dates, you know, that you know you're going to be out, you can go ahead and just like say, okay, you know, on 4th of July, I'm not going to be working. So you could easily go and just like mark that out. Or you can say like, okay, you know, Tuesday, I know I don't want to work that day. I got other stuff to do. So go ahead and just exit those times out. And boom, now on Tuesday, you can be like, okay, that's booked for appointments or blocked for appointments. No appointments can be made that day. Now here's another little thing that you can do. So this is like the buffer time. So that's how many times between appointment slots. So maybe you don't want appointments back to back to back, like a 10 a.m., 11, 12 noon. Maybe you want a little time so that way you can, you know, refresh. So 30 minutes minimum between each appointment slot. And then you could say, how, what's the max per day? So there's four appointments max per day. No matter what times are available, what's four are booked, all the other booking slots are taken up. And you don't have to do that. Now it syncs automatically to your calendar to essentially make it so you won't have any overlap. So if you already have something on your calendar, people will not be able to book in that slot. And if you pay for the, um, if you pay for the service, then you can actually sync it with more calendars. Now your booking page and photo name, it's gonna default to what's already on your Gmail. So if you want that to change, you're gonna have to change your Gmail photo. And then just your location about where the actual um, thing will take place. Is it gonna be a Google Meet, phone call, in person, none, and then you'll let them know. And I just set mine as Google Meet for now. And then just the basic description. So what actually are you going to be doing? You can give them a description so they know what you're booking and what it involves. You can put prices in there, et cetera. Now, if you are actually looking to charge people for the service within Google Booking, you have to pay. And then the booking form. So when they book, what are they filling out? Name, last name, email address. You can even add items like phone number or you can do 
um, a custom item. So custom item and I just put, you know, anything I should know and I added that item to the form and you can make it required if you want to make it required. Just click that button. So go ahead and just scroll down. And then booking confirmation reminders, it'll automatically send them an email um, link to link it to their calendar, and then it'll send them a reminder. If you pay for the plan, then you can, of course, get more reminders, etc. But the free version is just fine. So now this is what it looks like. You'll have the bookings already on your calendar. You can go ahead and open the booking page, or if you go to the share, the share will allow you to get the link that you can then send out, put on your website, however you want to send it out. Or you can go to the website embedding. So if you have a website already, you can paste the code into your website and it'll link your booking page, kind of like an inline booking page, or you can paste the link that's going to have a button that'll then open up in a separate browser. So either way, it gives you everything that you need to be able to just put it on your website and get started. But in this case, I'm just going to open the booking page from here. And now you can see all of my bookings, kind of just like I laid it out. So you can see on the 6th, that there's nothing there because remember I blocked that as far as not having availability. And right now I'm seeing it from the view of somebody who can book. I'm not seeing it as myself, I'm seeing it from a different account. And so you can see all the information I have, I can enter my information, I can put, you know, whatever random note that I wanted, and then I can go ahead and just click book from there. Now when I'm back here, you could see that somebody has booked between 9 and 10 on the 7th. So that's that appointment that I just set. And you can erase the appointment. You can erase appointments on Wednesday for just that week. You can erase them for all weeks, or you can erase the whole booking site in general. So if you need to make adjustments to your booking page, you can easily do that and modify that. And let's say like you just don't like seeing the booking page in line in your calendar. You can go ahead and just click off show appointment schedules. I've already deleted the appointment schedule, but if you didn't want to, you can click that. Now here's a bonus. Have you ever been emailing somebody and you're like, hey, so-and-so, Jan in this case, you know, do you have time to chat? I'm available between, you know, 9 and 10 and 12 and 3 and they have to email back and forth like, yes, this time, this time, whatever. So they do something cool now where you can actually link your availability directly in here, kind of like a bookings page. So if you click the three dots on the bottom and you go to set up time to meet, you can say offer times for free. And this will allow you to essentially set your own schedule and put it within the email for them to be able to book directly with your calendar. So you can say five times for us to meet and then you can just add the date. So, okay, boom, I want to be available on Monday. And again, I'm available for that 9 to 10, and I'm also available from that, you know, 12 to 3 or whatever the case may be. And then when I go ahead and click Next and Add to Email, it's going to put it directly in the email, and now they can just click which one works for them versus us going all back and forth. But yeah. Okay, so overall, what did we think? I actually thought that it was pretty darn good, especially since it's free and it already links to your Google Calendar. The thing about using third-party sites is that you have to then link your Google Calendar to it. In this case, it's already set up. So this is actually probably what I'll move to in the future for all my booking of appointments. But anyways, if you have a Gmail already, give it a try. If you don't currently have a Gmail, sign up for a free account so that way you can get access to Google Calendar and try it out for yourself. Thank you as always for watching my videos and I'll catch you in the next one.